Hello everyone. This video I will show how to print report with QR code generated by using iReport and I am continue on this project. You can check the previous video or link I put in description this video. Now I'm going to show the library that we will use to print report. Here in this iReport folder, all this library we use for iReport, so there are too many jar file, so I can detail you for some jar file like, barbecue and barcode 4j.jar, is used for create the barcode. And this jfree chart library also include. And for the iReport version I am using 6.20.5. So now go to folder Excel, this library used for Excel file, when we want to export from iReport to Excel, so their library are used. And the last one here for QR code library, used for generate QR code. So here for QR code library I am using this, you can check it on GitHub. So we need add all their jar file to your project, so now copy all to the project folder. Now I have added into my NetBean project. So next we going to print all this data. So create new package as print. And we need to design iReport. So for iReport I'm using version 5.6.0. So this is so old, but you can try the new version with Jaspersoft Studio, it will work the same. Now create new report design, for the template we can modify later, so click open this template button. Next browse to the location we want to save this report, so we need save it into the project package as print that we have created. And here for the report name. So click next and the finish. So now we need delete report band what we don't use. We just use title, detail and summary. So next we going to change the report page format. So this report I'm using 80 millimeters and for the margin to and bottom we set to zero and for left and right we set it to 11 pixel. So on the right side, this is palette that we will use for design, but if you don't see it, you can select on the window menu and select palette. So now we design on the title band, by create static text for the report title. So we need customer and staff, this is just my sample so you can design what you want. Next create report parameter, by right click on this and select add parameter. Rename the parameter that we have create to what we will use. So for QR code parameter we next change parameter class to input stream, because we will generate QR code as image and then set to iReport as input stream for print. Next move the parameter staff and customer to the report title band. But we can copy it and just change the expression. So next create parameter total, we can copy it to the summary band. So now create the QR code, by using image, just more the image from the palette. Then click cancel button, 
because we don't not use image from the selected file, we need the pass image from the parameter. For this image we want it go center. By go to the properties, and set the horizontal alignment to center, and vertical alignment to middle. Then set this image expression to the parameter, by go to the image properties, and select image expression. Select on the parameter, so here we can scroll down and see the QR code parameter that we have created, so double click on it, now we see the text like this. Then click OK. So next we going to create report detail, to show each item in row of table. So now we need add field report, and we need for field. For field detail we need the column header, but I have deleted, so now we can add it back, by right click on column header here and select add band. So next select all field and move it to the detail band, so the airport automatically create the label column header for us. I want to change the font size for all component. And for the font name you can change to another one, just select one you want. Next we change the field alignment. So for the header column we need create the line border, by just select all, right click and select padding and border, then select top and bottom border and here set the border width to 0.5, and for the border style you can select what we want. So we need create one line after report detail. And for the line between band summary and band detail when we double click on it, it auto fit to the component height, like you can see this. So now we finished design the report, so next we going to create parameter and field of report on Java project, by follow on this report design. Go to package print, just create new package as model, to store the report data. Create new class for field report. So the field that we create here, must be the same with the field that we have created in iRport design. And it must have the method getter and setter for all field, so we can encapsulation for create it. Then create new class for store the parameter, for this class you can create or not, it's up to you, but for me to easy the use I have to create it. And create the parameter that we will pass to the airport, for the parameter report we not require to same, with the parameter in airport design, but for me I recommend to create same as on airport, because it will easy to remember and modify it later. And here for the QR code image so we must use the input stream as data type. And the last is field of airport. We use it as list because it's field of report, it's have many row. Now encapsulation all field and create the constructor to initialize the value. So next we going to create new class for print the report. So in this class I using the singleton pattern, so now create the static instance. And for the constructor, we need assign it to private, because we don't want this class can be create an object from another class. 
So next create new method for compile report. And go here to create Jasper report object to store the report template that we have create on iReport design. Then compile this report by using Jasper compile manager class and use method compile report. And here we set the report name with the path location. And the file we using is jrxml file. For this compile method, we need throws with jr exception for catch error. Now go to main class to call the compile method. So we can run test now. It's no have any error. So next we create new method to print the report. At this method we need throws with JR exception. Create the map object for report parameters and new it with hash map. Then put all the value from parameter report payment object to this map object, but for the parameter key must the same with the parameter that we have create in iReport design. Next create JR Beam Collection Data Source for the report field. So here we can pass the field as list to this data source. Next create Jasper Print and fill the report data with the report template. So we create new method to print preview. We use false here, for J frame exit on close, if it false, when we close the print preview frame, it not exit the system. Then call the method view here. So here we need add the button for print the report. Now create the field report payment as list, and loop all row from table to the field. We can get the model item object from the row table at first index. and create the parameter. For staff and customer name, we just set fix here for the sample. And this for QR code image, we will create it next.
Then call method to print the report. Here we get the report, so next we're going to create QR code image, and pass to this report. Now create new method for generate the QR code image, and this method is return the input stream. And call this method here. Create number format for format number. Then create the random object for generate random invoice number. We plus with 1, because we need the number is not 0. So next we create the image QR code from this invoice number. This QR code we set width and height as 80 pixel. So it error, because it need throws writer exception. Next create the buffered image, and we use matrix to image writer to create the QR code as buffered image. So now I want to test this image, by set it to the J button. Here now we see the image, but we need to decrease border margin. We use map with encode hint type. Then pass the hint object to this method. So next we're going to pass this QR code to report. And we see here, we need the input stream object, so we need to convert the buffered image to input stream. For this method it need throws IO exception. So here we see the QR code image now, but I want to increase the image size. So next we're going to format the number on this report. And select field we want to format, and go pattern in properties, then set the format pattern string.
So don't forget, if we use number format pattern, we need set that field or parameter to the number data type, so we set their field to double. And quantity to integer. And make sure the field in Java we have the integer and double, are the same with airport design. And thank you everyone for watching, see you next video.